In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make this design using Kittle's AI tool. In addition to the new masking feature that was recently added to Kittle. So let's get into it. When you go to Kittle's home screen, press new project. And I'm going to use the settings of 15 by 18 inches. And I'm going to tell you at the end of the video why this is the best specs that you can use for print on demand so you can keep the dpi as is 72 change the the settings to inches and the width to 15 and height to 18 and press create this will take you to the artboard and from the left menu i'm going to press on kittle ai and as you can see there are many image styles that you can use to create your image and Kittle recently added this t-shirt design style to their collection of AI image styles and this is the one that I'm going to use for this tutorial. For today's design I'm going to DJ Cat playing music, cool party and press on the generate button and let's see what we're gonna get. So this is the image that we got and it looks really cool. I like this t-shirt design style a lot and this image is created in a png format it's not a vector so it but if we change the background we can see that it has a ba wide background the image itself so we're going to use the ai background remover which is inside kittle to remove the wide background from our image and it does a great job so i'm heading now to chat gpt and asking it to suggest a couple of slogans for my t-shirt and i'm going to use the suggested slogans to create my design ChatGPT suggested a couple of slogans based on the description that i've added i like the last one a lot catnip and beats where cool cats rule the decks when we go back to kittle press on the text icon from the left menu change the color of the text and i'm going to paste my copy text and play text box of course you will see the text options on your right menu and you can change the font from this tab this is a cool font that i'm going to use and i'm going to place it at the bottom like so Let's create a copy of our text and replace it with additional text from ChatGPT. Cat rule the decks, but let's just add cat's rule. So for this text, I'm going to use uh, this beat street font and I'm going to delete the rest of the slogan. So I'm going so so that it reads cat cat's rule. I'm going to change the text style to wave, playing with the a little bit of uh, this light green color looks nice. I can add border weight, play with the wave settings, and let's add some effects to the word. I think we can change the outline and the offset a little bit. Yeah. So now it looks nice. Now I'm using one of the templates that is provided by Kittle to take this font. I copied this font and I placed it, placed it on my artboard. And I'm going to delete the ports that I don't want and change the font text. So I'm going to leave. Uh, I'm going to place my main text at the top and text i like the style of it cyberpunk style of font i leave it as is at the right and change the layer of the text and move it to the back so that our main image is set before it so by the way i'm using the expert version of kittle which you can get it for 30 dollars a month 
there is also a free version of Kettle, which you will find the link in the description if you would like to subscribe for free. The expert plan for me is the best because it provides 300 um, AI credits. So it's for me, it's a much better option than Midjourney because it, it's a design platform and an AI image generator in addition to the, all the additional features that is provided in Kittle. So for this amount of subscription, this is a great value. It even has a mock-up generator as we're going to see during the uh, video. Now let's continue our video. So I'm going to take additional text from ChatGP. Slogan, I like this grooving. I'm going to add it at the top and play with the colors to match our main color palette. So whenever you select the text, you will get the color palette from the right tab. So let's play with these colors to add more of a mix of colors to our main group text. And I'm going to add additional text. And I'm going to add the word vibes. And for this word, I'm going to select the yellow color and change the font to a more uh, of a script font. Yeah, I like this Allura font. Well, let's please the size a little bit and play with the uh, shadow settings from the effects. Again, I'm going to increase the outline width and add the black color and yes, now it looks now going to the elements tab i'm going to select one of these background elements that was recently added to kittle they all look great by the way texture style background so this circle i'm going to change its color to yellow move its layer to the now we to our However, I don't like the, the circle that is appearing behind cat and Beats text. And to delete this, I'm going to use the masking option that was recently added to Kittle. Before that, let's add additional text to our design. So I'm going to add cats through the decks using this cool font and play with through the outline of the text. Yeah, now it looks great. So from the elements tab, I'm going to search for mask and I'm going to use this rectangle to function as a mask for my design. And I'm going to simply move the circle inside the mask like so. And once the circle is inside, you can simply move the, the mask borders to cut any part of the circle that you don't want to appear. So I'm cutting the beneath part, the bottom part of the circle, and then I'm going to change the background color of the mask to transparent, like so. And as you can see, we have a mask group that has appeared inside our layer. So by moving this mask group to the bottom of the layers, we move the circle to the back. And this is how you can use the mask and kittle while designing. So I'm, I'm going to add some texture. Once you press on the texture tab from your left menu and choose a texture, it will be placed automatically to the, to your board. And you can clip it to the, to the design so that when you remove the background, it is clipped only to the design, like so. And of course, you can change the opacity the texture to decrease its effect or increase it as you like. I think our design is ready. Before downloading the design, make sure to hide the background and then press on download. And now when you change the DPI to 300, you can see 
in the export size it says that it will be exported in the size of 4500 by 5400 pixels which is the recommended size for print on demand platforms and it will be also in 300 dpi press on png to have your design downloaded and you can also check on the quality observe quality and you can download the design in png format and if we go to check the design size we can see that it says it's 4500 by 5400 packs if we go back to kitten and press on the mockup you can place your design directly on uh, one of the mockups that are built inside kettle and once you place it on the mockup you can download it directly and use it for any commercial use on any social media platforms so that that's it for today's video if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't thanks for watching and see you in future tutorials